Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. I am already pooped. It's barely, well, it's almost 11 o'clock in the morning. I just spent the last hour and a half cleaning the kitchen because the plumber is going to be coming to put in our new sink and faucet and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to take you down there and show you what it looks like right now. I'm just now eating. I made myself some peanut butter toast and some strawberries and blueberries and a nice cup of Keurig coffee because I don't want to mess up the kitchen because I just spent so much time cleaning over here. It's the cleanest it's probably ever been and likely the cleanest it ever will be once we start messing it up again. But here you go. So I cleared all the counter stuff off, everything around the sink and all the crap over here. So a lot of it now is up there. And of course, a lot of shit's over there. Now I'll show you what I'm talking about. See how stained and gross this is? And that's not, that's not ever coming off. <laughs> I mean, it was mostly there when we moved in. This side, I mean, there's, there's some discoloration, but this is the side I put the strainer in and I put the, the clean dishes and whatever. And then this ridiculous thing, I can spit with more force than this brings. And this leaks everywhere. Like as soon as you turn it on, it'll start pouring out of here. It'll start pouring out of here and then it goes, well, as you can see, there is a puddle of water in there now. And that was just from, you know, cleaning. I have a little, well, over there, that Rubbermaid thing that I put under the sink to catch the water. And even once they came in and put the dishwasher in, the new dishwasher, it just leaked even more. And that's what prompted me to get this all done. It's ridiculous. That, that we've gone this long and I'm taking care of it now. So that's it. That's what I've been doing all morning, getting ready for the plumber to come. All right, I'm gonna go up and finish my breakfast and wait for this guy to show up and then I'll show you everything when it's done. Okay, kids, we're just about done. Here's the sink installed and the new faucet. They redid all the piping under here. Now, the one thing that I didn't do was that this is the stuff for the automatic like touch feature so you can turn it on by touching it but we did not want that installed because we don't want the cat to be able to jump up here and turn the faucet on because he's smart enough to do that so definitely not going to have that happen but i love these because they're nice and deep giggity and they look so clean totally digging it so there you go and I had him remove all that shit because it was in their way and I didn't want it in there anywho. So this is a long time coming. Okay, and here it is. It's all done. Everything's put back with a little bit put away because I got tired of so much crap being up on the counters. But anyways, here we go. It's all done. It is beautiful. Oh, okay kids. It has been a long day. I got up early because I didn't know when the plumber was going to be able to show up and I was afraid that I had my phone in privacy mode and I wouldn't catch it so I kept waking up and looking at the phone. Long story short, the new sink and faucet is in. It's fantastic. I then went to Target after all this and I bought a new strainer for the sink. Of course it's black and I got a like a, a mat that goes down on the bottom of the other side so that we're not throwing shit right down on the, onto the stainless steel. I know I said I don't give a shit about it scratching, but probably not a bad idea. So that's in place now. And then I bought all new towels for the various spots that we put them in, in the kitchen. I think that's it. So the kitchen is pretty much done. Now, as far as the lighting goes, okay, she almost shit herself when I told her how much it cost to have all this stuff installed today. Not to mention how much I spent actually buying the new sink and the faucet and all the little parts that went into it that I had to have so that the plumber could install everything. So I think I don't need to poke the angry queen um, about spending a lot more money. And, and that's fine because as I told my mother-in-law, we've lived this long with the shitty lighting. We can wait that much longer. So I, I'm not worried about doing that right now. So it again has been a long ass day because by the time they showed up, I hadn't eaten lunch. 
So I couldn't eat while they were here. One, I'm not going to eat in front of them. Two, I'm not going to be in the kitchen while they're doing all that shit, trying to prepare food. So I hung out and, and I actually watched them do a lot of it because I'm fascinated by that kind of shit. I hope they don't think I was like looming over them, checking to make sure they didn't make a mistake, but I really just wanted to see how they did it. That was cool, but it also had its downside because all the like the chemical that they used, you know, to like wipe on the pipes and all that shit to put them together and whatever the hell else they did. Wow, was that stuff powerful. So I had been sitting in that pretty much all afternoon. And today we started to get the effects of, of that outer band of hurricane shit getting here. So it was really windy today and the temperature was a lot lower and there was no sun. So perfect day to have all the freaking windows and the doors open. So I kept the garage doors open. I opened up windows in the kitchen and everything. And then I put a fan on in the living room to try to blow that chemical smell out, at least for the main part of the house. And then I blew it in the kitchen and then I left all the windows open and all that kind of crap. But my head is pounding because I waited too long to eat. I didn't have enough caffeine. And I basically I'm, I'm like, the after effects of being high from the chemical that I smelled all day and everything has taken its toll. So at this point now, I'm just going to wind down, finish this video up and post it. And then I'm going to go chill on the couch. We have two cookies each left. I'll make some tea and it'll be a nice wind down into the evening. Tomorrow again, we're, I think it's supposed to be the worst day and we're going to be experiencing 30 mile per hour plus winds in addition to pretty hardcore rain, I think. So I won't be going out. Now I know I say I'm not gonna go out, I'm not gonna do anything, but we all know I can't sit here with my thumb up my butt either. So we'll see what happens. That's pretty much it. That's all I've got for you today. Uh, again, my head's pounding and I need to be done doing this. So that's all you get. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.